So it's quite complicated question, but make it simple. So the load into the joint and then the tissues, which is exceeding the load bearing tolerance in the joint and the tissue, then because of the repetitive movement, then you get the injury. So when it comes to uh, treating patients, it is really important for us to understand the biomechanics and the type of load, the frequency of the load, and then the magnitude of the load. And then also the SI joint. Because the SI joint is the foundation of our body and it's a multi-directional uh, force transducer. So when there is a SI joint problems, you might have some of the problems some, some other place of the, your body, right? So, and then the, the elasticity of the muscles. So when the muscle loses the elasticity, then you have to force your joint to move further so you get injured. That should commonly I see when I train athletes in Korea. Okay, so that uh, depends on the type of sports they, they do. The soccer player, they'll probably have a lot of ankle issues like ankle sprain. And then let's say talking about uh, basketball players, they jump a lot, so they probably have a lot of issues with the knee, right? And then the boxers, they, they get to blow all the time into their head. So they have a lot of neck movement, right? So they have neck problems. So it's solely dependent on the, the sports they, they do. So we, uh, when the patient comes in, we perform the physical test on the around the uh, injured area. And then if we suspect something and if it's necessary, we refer them out for the x-rays or MRI uh, for the further information. Yeah, so if there is something that we can do, we're gonna treat them here. If there is something we cannot do, then we are, they're gonna see the medical doctors to, for the uh, further uh, treatment, maybe surgery. So there is no such a thing one single treatment is best because everything has to work together. For example, as a chiropractor, when the patient comes in, we did the physical assessment and we adjust them, right? And if, if they need some of the most work, then they have to see the physiotherapist. And then if they need to do some rehab exercise, they may do with personal trainers or a physiotherapist. If they need surgery, they get a surgery and see the medical doctor. So we all have to work together because there is no single treatment which can you know, magically treat them perfectly. <laughs>